building a machine learning model is good, but creating a final application that can embed your model is even better. But the issue here is that not all data scientists or machine learning engineers have the skills um, to build those final interfaces. And in this tutorial, I'll explain to you how you can not only build your model using notebooks, but also create that final um, user interface application that can embed your model. So let's get started. The model that we'll be creating is a sentiment classifier. Um, a user will be able to provide a text and the model will interpret the text in order to identify if this text is a spam or not a spam. And to do that, um, there are a couple of, of models that you need to import. Um, we have Pandas to create a data frame on counter vectorizer in order to perform some pre-processing to transform um, the text data into um, uh, numbers because models mainly work with numbers and after that we have a um, train text split this is used to um, split the original data set into training and testing data set and right after that we'll have the multinomial naive base and the goal of this module is to create a model using the naive base approach and finally we have um, the classification report and the job lib. The classification report is used to show some performance of the model and job lib is used to serialize on um, your model so that you can use it uh, for further um, analysis. And the data that we'll be using is the spam data sets. It's available in this folder. And so let's read that we're using pandas. And after that, we just show some um, three random observations using the sample function. And running that, we have um, this output. Let's scroll this a little bit down. We have this output. So we can see that we have mainly these columns, D1, V2, unnamed, and unnamed, unnamed. Um, two to four and as you can see we have the main columns that will be really using are the v1 and um, v2 right so what we do here let's just have a look at um, the second observation in the data set um, the you have a v2 column of a data set so we can see that this is just a sample i mean the output of the textual information for the zero one two i mean this is the third observation because it starts with index zero so we can see three entry into a weekly compared to win fa car final and so on and you know to there like Looking at this data set, we know that, that there are some pre-processing that needs to be performed. For instance, um, we have to uh, remove these columns, unnamed columns, and also rename this one, V1 and V2. So, and also, since we are using, a per, like, we're performing a binary classification, we'll be encoding the harm and spam into different values. So let's just have a look at the unique information in the data sets. So V1, we have only two values, harm and spam, meaning that we are dealing with a binary classification problem. And also let's encode this value with um, harm taking zero and spam taking the value one. And one more time, show three random observations in the data set. And yeah, we created a new column called label. And this label is the encoding results of the V1 column. So this label is created here. After that, let's just create two um, new um, uh, variables. The X is going to take the features and the Y is going to take the label because when we train a model, we, we need the features and um, the label column. And once we have that, just execute and now comes the training of the model. So to train the model, there are a couple of things that we need to perform. The first thing is to initialize um, the counter vectorizer. And once we have the counter vectorizer, then we fit transform on the X because you know we'll need to split that the data set. 
and right after that we like comes the splitting on um, process of a data set we have the training set and the text sets we have the x train um y train x text and y text um test and we use the train test plates providing the features the label and the test size is going to be 33% of the whole data sets. The goal of providing a random state is so that uh, we can have the same results every time we run the model. And now comes the um, training of a naive Bayes model. So we initialize the model here. CLF that fits is going to train the naive Bayes model on the training sets. And once we have performed the training of the model, now we can perform the prediction. The Y test, which is the original label um, of a testing data set, and Y pred is the prediction made by the model. At the end, we're going to have um, these final results. So as you can see here for on label zero, we have the F1 score of 99%. And for label one, the F1 score is 94%. In this scenario, what are we going to do is to be able to reuse this model for um, when we're going to build the final application using Streamlit. So to do that, we serialize using the Jabalib module. So for Jabalib, the name of the model is CLF, and we create this um, file called spam detector model, that's PKL. So this is going to create that um, this file, spam detector model, that PKL in the folder models in the models folder and also job lib vectorizer in this pickle so yeah we run that as well and if we come here we can see that we have the model created here and vector created in this section now we're done with creating the model what we have to do now is to be able like um i introduced before to create a final uh, application using Streamlit, and to do that we just create a new file called app.py and in app.py we need to import some modules like uh, import Streamlit. we're going to import Streamlit as st and also we need to import import um, job lib um, since we have serialized the model and the vectorizer we need also to deserialize those um, files that we have created so we import job lib so once we have those two modules what we do is to load on um, the model and the vectorizer so these are the syntax to um, load those information so we load the model using joblib.load function we open the model spam detector that pkl and provide the attribute um read binary and we do the same for um the vectorizer as well let's say that we create that main this main function is going on to basically um contain the information in showing the final user interface that we're going to have so let's say um let's create a title so the title is your awesome streamly text application um like we take this textual information and we convert it into an uppercase and then let's try to um show that using streamly let's just say pass okay and after that let's just have a look at this create a main function that is going to use this main function so let's try to run this um like extremely to run the stream application we just have to write streamlit streamlit run the name of the file which is app.py app.py this is going to generate 
some information here. We are going to have two URLs generated by Stromlet. We have a local URL, which is HTTP localhost, and also a network URL. This is a kind of URL that anyone connected on your network, on your like Wi-Fi, can um, use your model. So after that, what we had here is this interface generated by Stromlet. We can see like this is a blank interface. There is nothing nothing yet that we can see. So let's rerun Stromlet again. Like you not if you want you can stop Stromlet and also rerun again Stromlet run app. But the benefit with Stromlet is that when you run and your app for the first time and make some changes like every time you change your code the change will be affected um, on your app um, immediately. So this is what we have here. Like we have your awesome Stromlet text classifier. So this is what we have also um, provided here in terms of information. And right after that, let's create, um, we might want to also provide some information here so in terms of let's say we want to include an image in our uh, application this can be done using um Stromlet that image so writing Stromlet that image we are going to provide the um complete path to um the image we want to use so in my case here the image that i'll be using is this one and we use this image and Let's just have a look one more time. So what I'm going to use again is to refresh. So after refreshing, we can see that we have the image um, displayed right below the title of the application. And let's move forward again and provide more information. Yeah, we have as you know, it's the second um, part that we'll be dealing with is to provide the input section that the user is able to provide some input information. So let's get that information here. So let's understand what is going on here. So basically what we're going to do in this section, we are going to create an expander on that is going to ask the user to check if um, the text provided is a spam or a harm. And I have the text message. This text message is going to be the value of the information that the user will type in where I will ask to please enter a message. And the message that the user is going to type will be stored in this text message variable. And once I have the text provided by the user, then I will have a button that is going to be used like in the button, it will be written predict. And once the user click the predict button, I will call the model. This is going to use its predict function in order to make the prediction on the text message provided by the user here. Before um, making the prediction, we have to transform the input textual information into the corresponding, corresponding numerical representation. And once I have this prediction, I have two cases. The first case is if the prediction is zero, then I say that it is a ham and if or like otherwise if the prediction is not zero it means that the final result is a spam then what i do is to call finally um extremely that success function and i write prediction and show the final result here so let's have a look at all these things here that we have so to have all these modifications let's refresh it refresh this one more time and what i was talking about is this expand section here so in the expand i have like written please enter your message and let's say that i'm saying that welcome welcome on on zoom data science channel 
and I am happy to have you here. And I have this text. Let's click the predict function. And the prediction is hum, like the model predicted that the message that I've provided here is a hum. Okay. And let's try a kind of suspicious message. Please share your credit card. Your credit card is up. Make the prediction. So the model predicted this message as a spam, as you know, as a human. Like even if we look at this kind of message, we can see it's pretty like this is suspicious. So this is all I wanted to show you. You know, moving from that book and to creating a final Streamlit application. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and also feel free to hit the like button and also if there are any things that you're struggling with and that you want me to cover in my next video please drop it in the comment section so that i can add it in my uh, next video um, ideas that i will cover in the future thank you and bye bye